This is an exhibition that is, is taking uh, religious imagery, which has a very long history um, of promoting certain social norms. Um, religious imagery has been used by the church, it's been used by the state to promote certain behaviors and certain patterns of thought. Um, it's been didactic, it's been historical, it's been around for a long time. People are all aware of the meanings and the expectations imbued in religious imagery. And what the artists in this exhibition have done have, is that they have taken this imagery and unpacked those expectations. What is it that we are expected to feel or to uh, behave like when we are presented with an image of a submissive Virgin Mary with a child? Um, what, what, are, what implications does that have for society today? So the exhibition is looking at the way religious imagery can be um, deconstructed, which is why I called it deconstructing dogma, deconstructed in a way to make you question not only what was there in the first place, but what it means for society today. Where are we going? What, what are we doing? What are we being told to do? And how does imagery impact on this? Um, it came about as a project that grew out of my PhD thesis. I wrote about transgressive Christian iconography. I'd been writing about various uh, religious-inspired artworks over the years. Um, and I had a, a, a body of information and writings that I'd done on all of these works. And somebody said to me, why don't you turn it into an exhibition? And I thought, what a good idea. And of course, by the time I did it, a lot of the works I'd wrote about were um, already sold or um, had gone out of the country and couldn't be tracked down. But then the works I could get hold of, I did. And a lot of the artists then offered to make new works for the exhibition as well. So it's a collection of old and new works um, on this theme. Wim Boerter's um, Commune Suspension of Disbelief. This is carved out of Bibles and Bible text in the 11 official languages of South Africa. And what Wim Boerter was trying to do here, he wasn't trying to make a religious image. He was looking at the notion of religion as something that is, is kind of insubstantial. It's out there, it's, it's some, a belief system, but it can't be concrete unless you put it into words. Because we, 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 we um, share information with words, so you, it had to be put into words, it had to be written down before it could become something that people could follow, people could live by. So you've got all of that information written down in the Bible, it then becomes a book that people follow in terms of the rules that they need to follow for their lives to be considered good. So it's a form of control. And once you've got that control, he then has taken that form of control in the written word and turned it into the central message that comes from the Bible, which is the message of salvation through Christ. But then he starts deconstructing this. And I would say that this is almost like the central image of a deconstructing dogma exhibition. So um, it, it's a work that's really more about how people are controlled in various ways than it is about religion per se. Um, he said what's really interesting about this is that some people have come up to him um, over the years and said that they find it a very moving piece from a religious point of view. And he says he finds it so strange, not religious at all, but they do that because the strength of the image is so recognizable. People automatically understand it as Jesus crucified. And they can still make um, a, a religious meaning out of something that wasn't intended to be religious at all.